Okay, now let's look at breakout rooms. We have a large group and we want to facilitate uh, smaller group discussions. So let's look at breakout rooms again to the bottom of the screen and I'm seeing breakout rooms here. Now, if it's not shown at the bottom of the screen, you will see there's more. So you can always select more and then you should see the option. Click breakout rooms and I'm seeing a few things here. Um, I'm seeing I can assign automatically. So that means um, I can select how many rooms I have. Zoom will look at how many participants I have. Let me just choose two rooms. And they're going to divide the participants into those rooms for you automatically. Or you can select assign manually and they, you can put the participants into the room yourself. A little bit more work, but sometimes it's, it's worth it. Um, and the last one, which is actually a new option, is to let participants choose their own room to go into. That's new. Uh, even I haven't looked at that yet. So let's choose the first one, create assign automatically and create. And you'll see that it's placed, it's divided the amount of people into the rooms except the host. Host has not been placed into a breakout room. Oh, I should also mention that only a host can make a breakout room, right? Not the co-host. Only the host can make the breakout room. So because the, one, the host is the one controlling everything, monitoring everything, they are not assigned a breakout room. Now we see we have two participants here and one more there, right? And there are some options. Let's check out the options. Again, the option for allowing people to choose a room will come up. So if I have two rooms, they might have the choice to go into room one or room two. Uh, allow participants to return at the main session at any time. So when they go into the room, they can leave it when they are ready and not when I as host close the room. So they can leave before time automatically move all assigned participants into the breakout room. I like to select this one because um, some people take a while to even realize or don't even know how to go into the breakout room. So usually a pop-up comes up on your screen telling you to go into the breakout room and some people don't notice or not sure if to press it. Um, by selecting automatically move everybody into the breakout room, it eliminates any issues. It eliminates any delays in time as well. So I like to select that one. Um, breakout room close automatically after, so you can set a timer if you wish. And then you can um, have like an alarm uh, letting you know when the time is up, which could be uh, useful because it's host, you're monitoring everybody, and then, or you might get distracted by something else and not realize the time is up and everybody's coming back in. So that alarm might be useful. Um, there's also a countdown after the breakout room you can select. So after closing, sorry, after closing the breakout room. So when you close the breakout room, there can be that countdown. So I'm just going to put 10 seconds. Let's just try it out. And I think we have everything in there. Good. And other options here. You'll see this add a room. So you know what? If I decided I want a third room, I can add a room. Um, also, if I decided I want six rooms, I can recreate and go back to the original options. All right. All right. I'm fine with this. So let's open all rooms. Okay. And what will happen? All the participants will automatically go in. All right. Um, I can also, and notice now I'm alone in the main room. <laughs> All right, and everybody else is in. Did you see that? I will show you that again, actually. Um, now, you notice I have the option to join any of the rooms. Co-host as well will have the option to join any of the rooms. I also have the option of, if you look at when I put my, my mouse over a particular name, I have the option of moving that participant to another room. 
well, I only have two rooms here, so there's only another choice. All right, so I have the option of moving them to another room. Okay, I can also broadcast a message if I want everyone to uh, take notice of something. I can type it here and then broadcast. It will show as a pop-up in um, all of the rooms. Rather, uh, or instead of uh, I am go joining every room and telling everybody, I can just broadcast the message. Right, let's close all rooms. And you see the 10 seconds came up here. And eventually, when those 10 seconds are done, almost done, they will come back in. They automatically are removed from the room. Okay, let's try it again. This time, let's recreate. Let's go manual, recreate. And in manual, I can now assign who I want to go into each room. Let me add a room here and select that person, right? And I can also still move them or exchange them. Open all rooms and you'll see they're gray first. Then eventually it becomes bolder and, it, and there's a little green dot next to them. And that's saying that they've successfully moved from the uh, main room, this room, into the breakout room. All right, let's close it up, and I think that's it.